InfraWorks models can be opened in Civil 3D for further design and analysis. Before this happens, however, you need to assign a coordinate system to your model. Model Builder assigns the lat long coordinate system to every model and this can't be changed. In the Model Properties dialog, you'll see that uh, we can set a UCS, a user coordinate system, so that Civil 3D can read it out. Uh, we'll set our Netherlands coordinate system, click OK, and then simply close the model. Once the model is closed, then we can go in to our Civil 3D drawing. Here we need to set a coordinate system as well. It doesn't have to be the same. Uh, Civil 3D can translate InfraWorks coord uh, coordinate systems. On the Settings tab of Toolspace, we'll right-click on the drawing name and select Edit Drawing Settings. There on the Units and Zone dialog box, uh, we're going to go in and set the coordinate system under the coordinate system pull-down. If you happen to know the code, you can simply type it into the uh, coordinate system code box. And we'll pick the one in the Netherlands that we've been using, which is Netherlands RD New. Click OK to apply that coordinate zone to the drawing. And then on the Insert tab of the ribbon, we'll go to the InfraWorks 360 panel. Here in the pull down, we have two options. We have InfraWorks. Uh, open InfraWorks model and we have configured the options for the import. In this dialog you'll see all of the various InfraWorks 360 objects that can be imported into Civil 3D on the left and on the right you can see those object settings. Taking a look at 10 surfaces you'll see that we can set the surface style as well as the layer that that style is on and we can set styles and uh, uh, layers for pipe networks. These configuration fitting, uh, settings can be changed uh, and saved. They're saved as XML files. Three predefined XML files are included with Civil 3D, and these have the default settings. Once your configurations are specified, you can open the InfraWorks 360 model. Here you're going to navigate to where your model is stored and you're going to select the SQLite file. That's the database for the project. Provided your coordinate zone is set correctly, you'll see that it shows up in the coordinate system for InfraWorks. And of course, you can either now specify a coordinate system for your Civil 3D drawing, or it will pre-populate. You can pick the area of the model that you want to bring in. Uh, we're going to do the extents here and you can also set your object settings. If you select Refine Selection Set, a dialog will pop up that shows you all of the information that's going to be imported from this InfraWorks model. Here you can see the various surfaces as well as alignments, pipes, anything else that might be in your model. You can see I have a really long uh, list of alignments that are going to come in and some of the numbering and naming schemes don't really make any sense. I'm just going to leave everything selected and bring everything in. So I'm going to select Open Model and the Import Progress will appear. This is fairly fast. It doesn't take all that long. Once the model is open in Civil 3D, I can see that I actually have Civil 3D objects. Um, I have surfaces, alignments, you see label styles that came in. Let's take a look at these. In the Prospector, I can go to Surfaces and see that I have three brand new surfaces, existing ground, existing transportation, and proposed ground. I can select those and see which is which. You'll see existing ground doesn't look great. Proposed ground looks a little bit better. Uh, it looks a little smoother and everything, and proposed ground comes from coverages that you create. They create their own terrain. Transportation comes from the transportation layer, of course. These surfaces have a little bit, uh, a couple of holes in them. Uh, we won't be using them for, for very much. You'll see all of the alignments that came in. They're all numbered. Uh, they come in as centerline alignments. 
and the bridge that we created to cross over the motorway came in and it is in as a grouped 3D solid. So there are 43 individual solids that make up this bridge. Uh, we can look at it in 3D to verify that it is a solid and this information can be taken from Civil 3D out into Revit structure for bridge design and analysis. So now we have a proposed model inside Civil 3D that we can begin doing some more detailed uh, engineering on and documentation. 